warm welcome to the Hyundai Ionic 5 virtual showroom. My name is Alexandra Brumer and I head up our experiential marketing activity here at Hyundai in the UK. Today is your opportunity to get in the inside track and see our all new electric Ionic 5. We revealed this in February this year and it has already taken customers and press by a storm. It's an exciting time for us at Hyundai. We're seeing increased demand for electric vehicles across all segments. In fact, if you look at our industry as a whole, we had three times more EV sales in 2020 than in 2019, and that is so incredible. Progress for humanity is in our DNA, and we have been preparing and getting ready for this change for some time. Ionic 5 is just another vehicle to add to our already comprehensive lineup, which includes the Kona EV, the Ionic Electric, and let's not forget our Nexo, our hydrogen fuel cell model. This year, we also launched our new Ionic sub-brand, which will be a new halo for all of our electric vehicles moving forwards. The Ionic 5 is our first vehicle that will sit under this new sub-brand. And here it is. This stunning car behind me is the Ionic 5 Ultimate in Gravity Gold. It's a pre-production model, which is why it's left-hand drive, but we are so excited to have it here for just one week from Germany. Um, it does go back next week, um, which is why we only have a limited amount of events. Even so, we hope that this session is very comprehensive for you and informative and that you get the most out of it. So let me take you through how it's going to work. For the first 20 minutes or so, we'll take you on a 360 walk around so you can see the vehicle from the bottom up and we'll point out along the way why we think this car is truly something special. My colleague Sylvie will be doing this. She's our senior product manager at Hyundai and it's very rare that we get the chance to introduce our inside staff to our customers directly. Coming on to our second part of the event will be our live Q&A. Again, we really want this to be interactive and for you to get the most out of your time here. So we ask that you send through any and all questions that you may have during the session and we'll try to get to as many as possible. We have been doing these events the entire week and we know from experience that we will not be able to answer all of your questions in the allotted time. So what we'll do is circulate a written Q&A after the event so you can refer back to it. And finally, please do not record or broadcast this event. We will put a version on YouTube later this week, which we hope you can share with your family and friends. Now that's enough for me. So I'm going to welcome Sylvie and to support her, James, to this stage. Thank you and have a good event. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Sylvie Childs and I'm Senior Product Manager for Ionic 5 here at Hyundai in the UK. Hello, my name is James Batchelor and I'm a journalist working with the Ionic 5 product team. So this afternoon, as Ali just explained, we're going to take about 20 minutes to tell you the story of this amazing vehicle. So we'll talk about the design in and out and inspiration behind it. We'll also talk about this new and unique platform Ionic 5 is built on and what that has allowed us to achieve in terms of charging, in terms of space and in terms of safety. And we'll give you the rundown as well on the all new Ionic 5 high tech features. We'll, of course, talk in detail about charging and range. We'll explain powertrains, drive and trim and options and share those all important performance details. But let's start with the obvious. Let's start with the look of the car and the design of the car. There is absolutely no other car that looks like this currently in the market. It doesn't look like any other Hyundai. Well, that's actually not quite true. Um, Ionic 5 has been inspired by Pony Coupe, a car we launched in 1974. That was our very first passenger car. And it really launched the DNA of a Hyundai, defined how we would shape the future of motoring. And Ionic 5 is now a reinvention of this DNA in a crossover of the future. Now, Hyundai wanted this car to break the mold, to push the boundaries of design. They wanted to have a sporty and pure silhouette that could be drawn with just a couple 
of lines. And High and I wanted this car to be instantly recognisable and to stand out in a crowd. Because unlike other electric products, which often share their platforms with other combustion engine vehicles, Ionic 5 is unconstrained from many of the design considerations that apply to traditional cars. And it shows. It's why the traditional grill, now liberated from being just a cooling function, is now a digital sensor zone. That's why the V-shaped bumper has been redesigned for aerodynamic efficiency. And from the moment you first look at Ionic 5 with Hyundai's first ever clamshell bonnet, the pixel LED signature lights, which we'll show a little bit later on for you, and the parametric design where computers help to break the rules of what a car might look like. The Ionic 5 is characterised by sleek and sharp lines. It's almost geometric and minimalist in appearance. So look from your side and you start to understand how this has been possible. So with the new, brand new platform, so the Electric Global, Mod the electric global Modular Platform, the EGMP, we have been able to completely reinvent the structure of the car. So what we have is we have a three meter long wheelbase, which makes the car really stand out with a sporty silhouette with the wheels pushed to the side, to the corners, creating a lot of space inside. But we'll talk about that uh, later on. You've got very short overhang at the front and at the rear. So that gives the car that real compact look, really clean silhouette. And to keep the silhouette pure, we have the flush door handle. So here the car is unlocked and they pull out, but when you drive away, they will just push in. To enhance the whole design of the car, there's the 20 inch diamond cut alloy wheels with a fractal design. These are aerodynamics and don't, not only they look good, but they help the overall performance of the car. Talking about lines, if we carry on, you have all these lines to the side, which we call parametrics, dynamics. And you have that really characteristic line that links the front to the rear. And it gives that forward stance to the car, which is further enhanced by the C pillar at a 45 degree angle. Now at the rear, the sporting cues really do continue. That C pillar that Sylvie just mentioned, it slopes inwards at an angle. And there's a short hood line and rear spoiler to uh, add to the Ionic 5's sporting sensibilities. Now, you might also notice what isn't here. There is no rear wiper. And that's because the rear spoiler has been designed in such a way to dissipate rainwater. And the rear screen is very wide and visibility is consequently excellent. Now, the cutting edge parametric lights, which we saw at the front, are repeated in the back. Again, we'll switch these on a little bit later for you so you can see what they look like. But the design is repeated inside and out, and they really do emphasise Ionic 5's digital modernity. Now, the charging port, the all-important charging port, is here on the right-hand side. Um, it is neatly hidden, and uh, it doesn't interrupt the overall look and lines of the car. OK, so while we're standing at the back, let's talk about the boot. Let's talk about the cargo space. So Ionic stands out already, but let's see what other treasures it hides inside. James, would you mind doing the honour, please? Absolutely. And just yeah. feel the boot. <laughs> Anything for you, Sylvie? Thank you, thank you. So while James is hard working and putting luggage in the boot, I'll give you some statistics. So as it is configured right now, the boot is 527 litres. If you, fall, if you, if you um, push forward all the seats, um, then you will have 1,587 litres worth of luggage. So that's plenty for large cases and buggies, as James just uh, shown. In terms of versatility, you can split the seats 60-40 and they also slide forward by 135 millimetres. And there's more storage and the storage is at the front under the bonnet. As we uh, have no combustion engines, we have a lot more space to play with. So we have a front trunk, a front boot, depending who you are, where you live, you might call it a frunk or a fruit. And in there, you could store your uh, emergency cable. So it's 27 litres in a four-wheel drive com uh, configuration and it's 54 litres in the two-wheel drive configuration. So you do have a lot of space for everything you need to carry around. But we're going to step inside and to see how the EGMP has allowed us to optimise the interior space. 
Now, the three-metre-long wheelbase has meant the Ionic 5 has the, uh, it has the spaciousness of a large passenger car in a mid-sized CUV. Now, rather than think of this as a conventional car interior, the designer's starting point was to think of this as a smart living space. That's why the floor is completely flat, so it immediately feels spacious and open with plenty of legroom. Now, I am five foot 11, and look, I mean, there is tons of space back here, isn't there? Loads of legroom, loads of headroom, loads of space to move around. Now, move is a key word because these, these rear seats, they move forwards and backwards. Slide them forwards, you uh, liberate some more space in the boot. Slide them backwards, and you get more knee room. And on ultimate spec cars with the tech pack, they slide forwards and backwards electrically. Now, every single Ionic 5 has what Hyundai calls a universal island. It's a huge storage area full of clever little tricks as well. There's a wireless charging pad there, a couple of cup holders, and plenty of USB-A charging ports. On the top spec models, that slides forwards and backwards as well. Now, if all of this sounds as though this interior is like a living space, well, that is intentional. Hyundai's designers have created this interior so the driver and the passenger can customise it to their personal needs. There are other convention braking features on the car. As we have mentioned several times, being a dedicated platform to electric vehicles, we have no combustion engine. So what we have been able to do is take all the heating, ventilation and cooling components out of the cabin. And that means you have a lot more space, a slim down cockpit, more space for the passenger and more space at the front and at the back. But don't worry about heating, you have a, it is still there, of course, as standard. So you have a heated steering wheel at standard from premium. You have heated front seats as well. And on the top trim, you have ventilated front seats and then heated rear seats. So um, as we're talking about the seats, um, we can just check out how they have been redesigned and rethought to maximize the space. So they're much thinner, they're also lighter weight. So we have created space and we have created more efficiency. So this is all about, not about convention, but as James has already mentioned, it's about creating your Burton self. Um, as well, um, it's about living space. So the living space is on the tech pack, Sorry, we a uh, cameraman, you have to go back in. Um, the relaxation seats. So the relaxation seats are featured on this car. They are part of the tech pack, as I've just said, and they're fully reclined. So you can have a power nap uh, while you charge your car. So it's all there to make the interior as comfortable as possible. So it's not about convention, as I was saying. It's really about to have everything set from home to home. Now, up front, and let's switch the ignition on, shall we, so you can see all the illumination. Now, the first thing that strikes you in here is there's a great blend of digital and analogue features. I mean, it's absolutely packed with stuff in here. Now, um, the start-stop button, for instance, is very close to hand, as are the climate controls uh, there. You've got uh, the paddles behind the steering wheel. Now, these paddles control the brake regeneration. And in the fourth setting, the highest setting, the eye pedal is engaged. And what that does, it allows you to take your foot off the accelerator and the car comes to a complete halt. It is perfect for city driving. There's a new shift by wire gear lever here. It's drive, neutral, park and reverse functions. Um, it's safe and intuitive to use. And it also looks absolutely fantastic as well, doesn't it? Now, all the driving information is neatly displayed in the screens in front of you. On the left, there's a 12.3 inch digital cockpit. On the right, there's another 12.3 inch infotainment touchscreen as well. Now, Bluetooth multi-connection features in this car. It allows multiple devices to be paired to the car. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard equipment as well. And every single Ionic 5 comes with the latest version of Blue Link connected car services, which enables you to control many of the car's features through your smartphone. Now, the Blue Link app displays 
uh, the vehicle's range, the battery state and charging times when the car is plugged into your home wall box or into the public charging network. The remote charging feature allows you to start and stop a charge when the car is plugged in and you can also schedule charging to and set the temperature so that when you come out to your car in the mornings it's nice and warm and ready to go. Fantastic for winter mornings that is. Now the new cloud-based connected routing feature is uh, has been particularly well it's particularly relevant for Ionic 5. The database has been improved to display the, uh, the latest charging stations, the availability, and it mirrors the network currently available on the Charge My High and I app. More about charging a little bit later on. The last thing I want to mention is the AI. Now, AI learns your most frequent routes and the last mile navigation. This is where you can continue route guidance on your smartphone if you've parked up and you're walking the last few steps of your journey Okay, so me, um, James has mentioned connectivity and a whole set of really high-tech clever features. What I'd like to do next is really focus on the more sensual side of the car. So let's have a look at the materials. So here inside you've got this really squishy and soft um, armrest and we also have a ambient lighting. So you have that standard across the range and you have a choice of 64 colours. On the top trim, you can see here you've got both uh, audio system and that comes with seven speakers and a subwoofer. And it's not just about how it looks and how it feels, but the interior is full of really clever usage of materials, eco-friendly material. So we have used recycled PET bottles to transform into yarns for the upholstery. We've got sugar canes in the carpets. And even on the exterior paint, we are using rapeseed-based additive as opposed to petroleum-based additives. And all this, what it does really, is gives us a, an interior that it looks good, it feels good, but it also shows the commitment of Hyundai to a more sustainable motoring. Now, I'm still here, I'm still in the front because there is plenty more to talk about. Let's talk about the safety features because this car is absolutely packed with safety tech to help you anticipate, avoid and minimise impacts. Now, the Ionic 5 is based on Hyundai's new eGMP platform. It is ultra strong and in the event of a crash, it uh, helps dissipate energy around the car away from the passengers. Um, now, this car is also packed with what Hyundai calls smart sense safety features, many of which you will already be familiar with, but with Ionic 5, it debuts a few new features. Now, for the first time in a Hyundai, Ultimate spec cars feature a 44-inch augmented reality head-up display. It effectively turns the windscreen into a huge dis giant display screen. Now, the system provides driver assist information and safety-related warnings in either AR or in normal mode, based on your preference. Added to this is a comprehensive suite of safety systems. New for Ionic 5 is the next level version of Highway Driving Assist. This technology already keeps you uh, at safe distance from the car in front of you on the motorway. But new for Ionic 5, it can automatically and safely change lanes for you when you switch on the indicator. Now, there are basically systems for everything in this car, from uh, spotting uh, smaller road users such as cyclists and intervening if necessary, to navigation, smart cruise control, where if the car spots a speed limit ahead, it will deaccelerate the car to the speed enforcement zone. Very, very clever that. And uh, if, you opt for the, if you opt for the tech pack, there is even more. There's uh, a surround view monitor, which gives you a 360 degree view of the car, particularly useful when you're parking in tricky parking spaces. And there's blind spot view monitor, which displays a video of your blind spot in the digital instrument cluster uh, when you switch on the indicator. There is everything you could think of in here. So Ionic, pa Ionic 5 is really packed with safety kits and a lot of features to make your journeys really enjoyable. But what is Ionic like to live with? What is Ionic like, um, like to drive on the open road? So now we're going to spend some time to talk about the powertrain. Ionic 5 is a rear wheel drive vehicle. It comes in two different battery sizes, the 58 kilowatt hour, 
um, battery size, and then there's a 73 kilowatt hour battery. The 58 kilowatt hour battery is available in two wheel drive only. The 73 kilowatt hour battery is available in two wheel drive and four wheel drive. So all of the Ionic 5 have at the rear an electric motor of 155 kilowatt. And at the front, in the four wheel drive, there is a smaller electric motor of 70 kilowatt. And together they develop 605 newton meter of torque. Now let's talk about the all important question you all have in your mind. So what about the range? How far can I go? So the long range battery has a WLTP range of 300 miles and the 58 kilowatt hour battery has a range of 240 miles. So for those of you who are familiar with electric cars already driving an electric car, you know that's plenty of range. For those who are a bit less familiar, I'll share with you some statistics. So here in the UK, the annual mileage is just under 7,000 miles. So on a weekly basis, that equates to 134 miles. So 240 mile range, you've got plenty to cover those needs. If you want to venture out a bit further, further afield, it's no problem with Ionic 5 because Ionic 5 is fitted, is the first mainstream car to be fitted with a world first onboard charger capable of 800 volt. What that means is you can charge your car 10% to 80% in just under 18 minutes. So that is super quick. That equates to 60 miles in five minutes. So it just keeps you going and keep you driving. So Ionic 5, you have a choice of how you can charge the car. It's capable of 400 volt to 800 volt. So you can use the DC charging in public network, 50 kilowatt to 350 kilowatt. What we recommend, of course, is to have a wall box at home so you can charge it overnight in six to seven hours uh, when you've got three-phase electricity. Um, if you have to go and visit relatives and there's no public uh, infrastructure, you could use the granny cable or the three pin plug. Um, and both the type two connector and the three pin plug are delivered with the car as standard. Now, Hyundai is leading the way in its commitment to electric vehicles, not just by demonstrating the fast charging capabilities of its cars, but also by investing in infrastructure. Now, Hyundai Motor Group became the latest shareholder to invest in Ionity. It's a joint venture that builds and operates high power 350 kilowatt charging points across Europe. Now, access to this network will be integrated into Hyundai's new pan-European public charging service called Charge My Hyundai. Now, all Ionic 5s, they come with a free one-year subscription to Ionity. And all of this means that Ionic 5 drivers will be able to enjoy the best and fastest charging experience, as well as access to over 170,000 AC and DC charging points, 15,000 of which are in the UK. Now, thanks to the Charge My Hyundai app, you can pay for charging at different charging points without having to set up an account at every single one. A fantastic feature, that. And, of course, you can find all of these stations really easily using the Ionic 5's navigation system. All this talk of powering leads me to introduce you to V2L vehicle to load. So this is the feature that will allow you to charge a laptop to another electric car. So you've got V2L in and out and we've got to step inside so I can show you where the plug is. It's a three pin plug. That's basically what it means. And it's located right here in between the seats. So you could imagine that you could have uh, you could um, plug in a kettle or if you've got a baby you might want to warm up the food or obviously a laptop for those of you who are out and about working. But I'll show you now the outside V2L. So for the outside V2L you will need this and it's delivered as standard. It's an adapter. So what this shows you, I'll show you here. So you've got the type two connector, which you plug on the car. And here, this is a European plug, this is a European, but it will be a three pin. And on this, you can put the granny cable, for example, and trickle charge another vehicle. So this is Ionic 5 acting as a power bank. It uses the high voltage battery to power other items. 
and it's don't worry you're not going to deplete the battery because there is a minimum it won't go uh, below two but you can also set this because it's all about efficiency everything is about efficiency with ionic 5 and it's one of the most efficient vehicle in a segment achieving 16.8 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers it's pretty amazing so i've given you a lot of numbers but just don't worry about it what we're trying to say is how much we can achieve with the new electric platform the egmp so ionic 5 has the convenience features the super fast charging and the range to take you to places in comfort and confidence. And if it's performance you're after, well, this car has that too. If range performance is your priority, then the 73 kilowatt hour two wheel drive has a very respectable 0 to 62 acceleration time of 7.4 seconds. If you want range and performance, then the 73 kilowatt hour all wheel drive is the one for you because it gets to 62 miles an hour in 5.2 seconds. As we all know, driving performance is more about than just speed and acceleration. You may need your car to have the pulling power too. The larger battery Ionic 5 has a, has a brakes towing capacity of 1,600 kilograms. And when you're using trailer mode, the car takes into account the weight of the load and recalculates the electric range accordingly. Now there are three trim levels, SE Connect, Premium and Ultimate. There are V2L, Tech and Eco Packs. There are nine exterior colours in a choice of matte, metallic and solid colours. And there are two interior colour options for the top trim. The choice very much is yours. Well, this is a culmination of years of research and development. The car brings together our most cutting edge technology for a standout and eco-friendly mobility solution. I think that's a bit of a mouthful, really, just to say that it's got it all. Ionic 5 looks good. It's got loads of equipment. It's safe. It charges super fast. So I hope that shows clearly how excited we are about this car. Fantastic. Okay, that just leads me to say thank you very much indeed for watching. And from me, Sylvie, and the rest of the Hyundai UK team, thank you for watching and see you very soon. Bye-bye.